hello everyone today we will see zero delay controls in details okay so what is zero control delay if we write hash zero delay in a procedural block then that is called zero control delay statement this when we write this hash zero it forces the procedural block to be executed after all the other blocks are executed i'll explain this one okay this line it is a method to ensure that statement is executed last after all other statements in that simulation times are executed for example if you have two initial block let's say this is a initial block and this is another initial block so which block see this initial blocks are executed independently and parallelly okay and this initial is a this initial is a procedural block the hash delay the hash zero delay is included inside a procedural block always okay so when we have two initial block then which initial block will be executed first we don't know that one is decided by the simulator but when we include this hash de hash zero delay here initial there is no hash zero delay but here there is a hash zero delay okay hash zero hash zero so if we include or if we write this hash zero delay in the statement inside the always block then what happens your simulator what it does it ensures these statements where hash zero is written that statement to be executed at the last this is what the simulator the simulator ensures that means first this block will be executed then this block will be executed because this hash zero delay it forces it forces the procedural block to be executed at the end so first this will be executed second this one will be executed okay this is the only use of this uh, this zero delay, delay control okay and so that we can avoid we can avoid what race around condition this type of condition is called race around condition when we do not know which block will be executed first so first this block will be executed so and we know that this initial whatever we write inside the initial block all the statements are executed at zero time step that means zero nanosecond so when the simulus the simulation starts first this line will be executed x equal to 0 and z equal to 0 this is normal assignment so this will be executed first and as we have written here included this hash 0 and hash 0 so this two line or this initial block will be executed only after this first block this block gets executed okay so when control comes to this initial block then ha what happens first this one will be executed this line the order in which x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 are executed is not deterministic sorry not this line will be executed because see here here it is hash 0 it is also hash 0 so there is no surety that whether this this line will be executed first or this line will be executed first but there is surety that first this one this la this block will be executed okay but inside this one there is no guarantee whether this line will be executed first or this one will be executed first and it it is decided by the simulator so it is not deterministic means not defined so first if this line is executed then first x equal to 1 then y equal to 1 okay let's say we have three initial block first one second one third one here we have hash zero that means this is a zero delay control statement this was a zero delay control statement from this we can say this one will be this block will be executed first because this is a normal assignment okay the second whether first this one or this one is not deterministic okay that means we cannot say whether first this one will be executed or this one will be executed so there is a race around condition here okay no one can say whether 
the initial block two or three will be executed first. That means again we cannot say whether first this line will be executed or this line will be executed or this one or this one. It is purely it will be decided by simulator. It is decided by simulator. Okay. And this execution also vary from simulator to simulator. Let's say if Xilinx, if you are using the Xilinx simulator, first this one will be executed for that is for sure. Let's say in the Xilinx simulator, first this is executed, third this one is executed. Then if you use Mentor graphics simulator, then man, maybe after this one, maybe this one is executed, and next this one is executed. So it depends on or it vary from simulator to simulator which one will be which which one will be executed first. So this one we have to remember that this is unpredictable. We cannot say which blocks even even including this hash zero cannot ensures us okay which line will be executed first or which block will be executed first. So there will be always a race around condition okay. And it depends on simulator to simulator. So this is all about this uh, zero delay control, and I have explained almost all the concepts here. And this this video I I had to make because this question was raised by one of the subscriber on my YouTube video comment section. So I hope now you understood this one. So thank you so much for watching this video.